Well, a huge, very important warning coming out from GB News uh, today, who, like many others, have to compete in a media landscape, still bizarrely, with a uh, licence fee funded BBC. Absolutely bizarre that the Conservatives in office didn't actually do anything about cutting what is a very unpopular tax. But nevertheless, you know, GB News persevering, proving the doubt is wrong, building an audience. And you see GB News Radio posting some decent growth figures recently, uh, up 18% there on quarter two, up 54% on quarter three, 2023. And you compare that to the BBC, uh, BBC local and regional stations, seeing a decline of 14% year on year. And it seems the Labour Chancellor, Rachel Reeves, running scared from uh, GB News analysis of her budget. During what they call the media rounds this morning, always happens, doesn't it, the day after a budget, yep. uh, where they get quizzed on all of this sort of thing. And as with everybody else, we were promised a chat with the Chancellor at 8 o'clock this morning. Well, guess what? It's ten past now, nearly. Nine minutes past eight. Uh, and she was there at our live position. Um, she's now decided she doesn't have time to talk to us, well, which means she hasn't got time to talk to you, um, which is very disappointing yeah. um, professionally, in a sense, but it's, it's actually, I, Frank, can I say, I think it's disgraceful. Mm. It's disgraceful. If they just think they don't want to take questions from us, the, um, we don't know what our viewing figures are today, by the way, because you don't find out for 24 hours. A week ago, our viewing figures were three times Sky News's figures yeah. at the same point. Three times. Now, she may well talk to them. I don't know if she's been on there already. I just don't know. Um, but she doesn't... Well, so she, I'm being told she has been on there this morning. But she doesn't, th she doesn't want to talk to you this morning. But look, a very serious development today. Uh, announcement from Ofcom that they have imposed a £100,000 penalty on GB News. They say for breaking due impartiality rules, this relating to that show, the People's Forum Prime Minister, where they say that Rishi Sunak was given a mostly uncontested platform to promote the policies and performance of his government. And you see that £100,000 financial penalty. They also say that GB News is challenging our original breach decision in this case by judicial review which they're defending, so Ofcom will not enforce the sanction until those proceedings are concluded. And I think this warning from the GB News CEO, Angelo Frangopoulos, is pretty worrying reading. Because he says that the announcement by Ofcom to impose sanctions upon GB News is a direct attack on free speech and journalism in the UK. He said that GB News believe the sanctions are unnecessary, unfair and unlawful and that the plan to sanction GB News flies in the face of Ofcom's duty to act fairly, lawfully and proportionately to safeguard free speech, particularly political speech and on matters of public interest. One of those responding to this announcement from Ofcom today was the Reform MP and Deputy Leader Richard Tice, who described it as truly dystopian and a disgraceful attack on free speech and journalism. And he accused Ofcom there of being an establishment biased quango that is not fit for purpose and that reform is needed. But yeah, a pretty big warning there, I would say, uh, from GB News off the back of that announcement from Ofcom today. Do let me know what you make of that in the comments below, please, guys. We'll, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and much more. So please do wrap this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.